everybody. We'd like to play a little sketch for you entitled Love Marches On. Now, there are three characters in this sketch, myself as the boy, Teddy as the girl, whether he likes it or not, and Joe as the commentator. Love Marches On. Love Marches On and meets a lonely boy, a lonely girl, and takes them by the hand and marches on. Together, love marches on until he leads them to a rendezvous and says it's up to you and marches on. Then on a certain Sunday morning, even plays their wedding song. When they go honeymooning, he goes right along. Love marches on until he finds a nest that they request. And says, I've done my best and marches on. What funny things love can do. I want you to imagine the scene is a railway station. Over there is the boy and sitting next to him is the girl. They have no intentions of flirting with each other, but it won't be long now. Let's eavesdrop on them. Uh-uh, there she goes. Excuse me, is the 5.15 on time? What did I tell you? 200 porters in the station and she's got to ask him if the 5.15 is on time. Let's hear what he says. The, what, what, the five, what, look, what, 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 I, look at him, the big gump. By the time he says anything, they'll both miss the train. You see, I'm a stranger here. Listen, a stranger. Eight years she's been taking the same train and her father's a ticket collector. All these women. Well, I'm pretty sure the train's on time, miss. Are you alone? Yes, I'm all alone. I never travel much. You see, I'm a home girl. Home girl is right. Anybody's home at all. I'll bet ten to one he's going to ask her how far she's going. Well, if I'm not too personal, would you mind telling me how far you're going? What did I tell you? I never saw it to fail. I'm going to visit some relatives in Brighton. Well, here's the train right here. Shall I carry your bags for you? Well, how do you like that? At home, he wouldn't lift up an ashtray for his mother, and now he wants to carry umpteen bags. Well, I suppose this is goodbye. Goodbye? Didn't you say you were going to Brighton? Yes. Well, that's where I'm going, too. Oh, oh if I were near enough, I'd kick him in the pants. In his pocket, he's got a ticket to Margate, and now all of a sudden, he's going to Brighton. Love marches on. Here we are, six months later. The same boy and girl are ordering dinner in a tea room. What did you have, dear? Oh, nothing. I'm not hungry. She's not hungry. For three days, she's been starving herself just to make an impression on him. But the minute she gets him hooked, she'll eat like there's no tomorrow. Darling, I wonder if you would... Uh... Don't say it. Yes? Darling, would you... Of course I'll marry you! Did he ask her to marry him? Why, all he wanted to say was, would you mind passing me the mustard? Oh, darling, I never dreamed you would propose to me. This is so sudden. She never dreamed. She was so sure she was going to land the four fish that for three weeks she's been paying a preacher just to follow them around. Love marches on. Here we are, two years later. They are married and are living happily in their little love nest. Let's peek in on them. Listen, you. I'm going out tonight. What, again? You might at least stay home one evening with me. Yeah. 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 yeah this is what they call happy married life. Well, what do you think I do at the office all day? I got to relax sometime. For six months, his boss has been asking him the same question. Well, you might take me out at least once in a while. I work and sleep my fingers to the bone in this kitchen from morning till night. Poor slave. She plays bridge all the afternoon, stops at the delicatessen, comes home, goes in the kitchen, gets a tin opener, and his dinner is all ready. Stop beefing, will you? I'm sorry I ever married you. Look what I gave up. I gave up my friends and my family. She gave up her family. Why, they threw her out of the house when she was 16, and she didn't give up her friends. They moved them all to Brixton Jail. Well, look what I gave up for you. Yeah, look what he gave up. Every Saturday night at the dogs and most evenings in the billiard room. How can you talk to me like that? Didn't you know? Darling, you mean? Yes. I've been knitting this tiny garment. Snoogsy, boogsy, boogsy. Oh, he's hooked again. Love marches on. Love marches on until he finds a nest that they request and says, I've done my best. 